What you do with mechanical equipment is certainly a question that comes in as far as after a flood. And you can see obviously this water heater has been submerged in flood water. It still has the mud and contaminants over top of it. And think that that flood water is going to go in every single one of these cracks and crevices where the exhaust flue comes out. And then down here at the bottom too, this is insulated with fiberglass insulation and it's not sealed. So that water can soak all up through that entire thing. So this water heater is obviously going to have to be replaced. There are some water heaters that you could potentially salvage, an electric water heater that is completely sealed and the components are sealed. You'll have to have a professional technician look at them to make sure it's salvageable. But for the most part, you're going to have to most likely replace water heaters. HVAC systems, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, it's the same issue. You're going to have to have a professional come through and refurbish that clean it, make sure everything works properly because you've got all kinds of different electronic components inside of it and mechanisms that are going to be burning fuels and make sure that those are all cleaned out and it might just end up being more cost effective to replace these furnace units. The ductwork can potentially be salvaged in a flooded house. This ductwork you can see was actually submerged in overland flooding water and if you look on the inside, you can actually see the mud and the biological contaminants and the mildew that's, going, that's growing inside of that this ductwork. So it's going to have to be pulled out. It's going to have to be cleaned, disinfected completely on the inside and the outside. Because if you think about it, the air that this homeowner is going to be breathing is going to be passing through this ductwork and you absolutely have to make sure it's spotless. It may be more cost effective and timely effective to just simply replace it. The other thing is if it's flexible ductwork that's insulated, that's going to have to be removed and replaced.